this tutorial I want to start looking at the difference between an insert and an overwrite edit. But before we actually get to that I just want to show you one other way of bringing items into your timeline and thinking about edit points. Now um, it's going to be slightly hard to demonstrate this because I don't have access to hear my audio while I'm recording or else it makes me stutter. <laughs> so I'm going to add an audio track. So I'm going to control double click my audio file I've only got one in there I'm going to take that audio file and I'm going to drop it in audio 2. Now I can't hear the audio you'll be able to hear it as it goes through but the idea behind this is I want to add markers in and those markers are going to act as points whereby I can automatically drop in files. Now I want it to start right at the beginning so I want a marker right at the very start so I hit the M key to add a marker right at the start and you can see up here in the timeline an unnumbered marker has been added. So now I'm going to push play and I can't hear what's going on and this particular tune doesn't have a tremendous amount of edit points anyway from a, a beat perspective but if I hit play and hit the M key a couple more times as it goes through you can see I can add in say three or four more markers which if I was listening to it I could do as I'm going through to add in beat points or edit points. So I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. Hit play and add three more markers. OK, I'm going to stop at that. Now, it's worth saying that editing to the beat, if you have actually put your markers on the beat, is quite a powerful way of editing. It's where people expect the edits to take place. And if you don't actually edit on the beat, but you're slightly off the beat, it can make people feel a little bit uneasy, or as if something hasn't been done quite right. So if you've got some music in your production that's got a good beat to it, make sure that you've gone through and you've put markers in, so that you know precisely where those edit points should take place. So that when you do a transition, or you do a change, or you've got a cut, it's where people expect it to be. However, if you've got a horror movie or something that you want people to feel uneasy about, then make sure you don't edit on the beat. But also, don't edit off the beat at a regular point. Make sure you edit in sort of a front and behind and all over the place so that it's not regular. OK, so now I've got my markers in here. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to control double click, command double click on the Mac, the video files, double click, and open those up. And I'm going to choose four or five files so I'm going to start off with soft C focus, so hold my control key and just choose four clips. Those four clips will do. Now I showed you before that we've got this little button down here which is automate to sequence. Let's have a slightly closer look. Firstly it says how are we going to order these? We're going to go in the selection order. Well that would suit me, the order I selected them would suit me just right. However you can have them in the sort order which is the order in which they are in this panel. And bear in mind, of course, you can actually physically grab and move around these clips to get more of a storyboard so that you can put them in the order that you actually want them to go when you create a storyboard. And placement, you can either go in sequentially, so one after the other after the other, and just cut at appropriate places, or they can actually cut at unnumbered markers, which is exactly what we want. And then overlay edit, well, we're going to be talking about the overlay or the overwrite options very soon, and also the insert edit. Now very briefly an insert edit will cut something if it's already there and put itself in the middle and then the rest of it's there afterwards whereas an overlay edit or an overwrite edit is literally going to cover over what's already there but we'll see more of that in a moment. So we're going to go with an overlay edit and we don't have an overlap option because we're actually choosing markers. If I'd chosen sequentially I could have chosen how long they're going to overlap, or how many frames or seconds, and notice we can apply a default transition for the audio and for the video. But seeing we're going for the numbered markers, we don't have those options. They're greyed out for us. So if I make sure my current time indicator is at the beginning, and I click OK, you'll see, if I zoom in here, that I've got edit points here, 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 and here going where I put the individual markers on my sequence, because these are sequence markers. So if I hit my spacebar to play, you can see that it's cut and put the cuts at this place. 
So that's how we can actually automate things to markers which we've put into our timeline. So now what is the difference between an overlay and an insert edit? Now to do this I'm going to take one piece of footage and I'm going to double click it to add it to my panel up here. So I'm going to take this one here of the boats in the harbour so we know what they are and I'm going to choose one bit. I don't want this camera movement. So let's do an in point there. I and an out point over here O. Oh. So I've got an in point, out point. This is the bit that we want. Now, notice my current time indicator is in the midst of the rocks showing as the tide comes out or as the wave goes out. So if I do this option here, which is the apostrophe key, which is insert, what it's going to do is it's going to cut this and move it down and insert this in the middle. So if I click insert or you hit the comma key, you'll see that it cuts all the layers and we'll deal with how to stop this cutting at another time. You see it's cut it and put it in the middle so that the wave continues to pull out at this point. So it's just going out here and then we've inserted in the middle of that the boats only to have the wave continue to pull out or the tide to continue to pull out straight afterwards. So that's an insert edit. I'm going to control Z to undo that. Now an overwrite edit, if you actually look at this little icon you can see that they're quite clear showing you what they are. This is literally going to overwrite what is already there. So it's just going to go over it so we won't see the tide pulling out. So this is the full stop. So if I hit the full stop I'm overwriting it so that when I go from here the wave is pulling out and I then see the boats and when I come back in I'm at a completely different place with the tide or with the waves coming back in again. So an overwrite edit is going to write over what is already there and just basically lose the data that's there. Whereas the insert edit is going to cut whatever is there and put itself in the middle. So that's the difference between an insert and an overlay edit. And now we're ready to get on and start talking about different types of editing in the timeline.